welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm very excited to review this palette because I have never made a video on a Charlotte Tilbury palette like this one. I did a video last month on one of her Look in a Palette palettes. If you guys want to see that, I'm going to link it in the description box below. But I've never had one of these longer palettes from Charlotte Tilbury that have the 12 different shades. And I can't wait to share with you what I think about it. Before we get started with the video, if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. My name is Patty. I love doing eyeshadow tutorials, makeup tutorials, product reviews, and I love the beauty related things. So if you like that kind of content, please don't leave without subscribing. Besides that, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up before you leave and if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments section below I will do my best to respond to them and now with all of that said let's go ahead and get started okay guys so first things first I am wearing it on my eyes right now so this beautiful look right here I'm about to teach you how to create it a little bit later in the video but first I want to talk about this palette so this is my first bigger palette from Charlotte Tilbury that I am reviewing and this palette retails for $75 Charlotte Tilbury is kind of a more luxury brand so that price is kind of to be expected I do love the eyeshadow formula in this palette you guys will see later they blend themselves and I have to tell you the reason I've never bought a Charlotte Tilbury palette before is because of the overwhelming amount of shimmers that usually come in her palette I love my matte I like to have a nice combination of mattes and shimmers in fact I sometimes might even like a little bit more of the matte shades rather than the shimmery shades so the number one reason why I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette is because you get the beautiful formula and you get four shimmers and the rest of the colors in this palette are matte. I also love the color story and Charlotte makes her products very easy to use. I like combining colors and creating makeup looks and just going all over the place with my makeup and if you've watched my channel before you know this but she does make it very simple for you to create looks at home. Let me show you what this came with. So this palette comes with a little clear thing that you can put over your shadows and it basically gives you instructions on how to do eyeshadow looks. The palette is divided in four different looks. So the first trio right here is called Day, second trio is called Desk, third trio is called Dates, and fourth trio is called Dream. Now if you are someone who is afraid of like pink shades and you want something even more neutral than this these three shades right here which by the way are very wearable and I encourage you to use them are the only ones who have a bit more color in them the rest of the palette is pretty nice and neutral I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some swatches of these shades I have to show you guys how creamy these are usually I have to go over swatches a few times and I want you to see this like, come on, let me do another one. Barely touched my skin, literally, and it looks like that. Okay, so here are all 12 of my swatches. You guys, these are so freaking soft. I am extremely impressed. If you didn't know, I work for Charlotte Tilbury. I work at a Charlotte Tilbury counter in a Nordstrom's, and I play with her little eyeshadow quads all day long. I show them to people. They're cute but I don't think she's ever had a palette this good. There was a holiday palette two years ago that people love and I've never tried that one so if that one was just as good then I'm sorry I've never I can't compare it because I've never tried that one but this is the best Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette I have ever tried. The formula is so different and so much creamier and better. I am highly impressed with this and I already did my eyeshadow so I know how well all of these blends and all of this built and look at just that pigmentation that was barely touching my skin just like I showed you guys but I love soft romantic eyeshadow shades and this is a beautiful palette for spring and summer for sure I haven't bought the palette myself yet because it's not available at Nordstrom for sale until January 30th and I want to buy it there so I can get my discount but I'm pretty sure I will be buying this palette I need you guys to let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a five looks one palette with it or not I feel like because this is broken down into looks and it's easy to recreate those looks You guys might not need me to do a five looks one palette with this one So just let me know if you're interested in a five looks one palette down below And if a lot of you want it, I will 
will be creating a five looks one palette with this one um, this palette right here I borrowed it from work this is actually my tester so I can sell it to people but I honestly really really like this formula I'm so excited to have this at work and be able to play with it because with her little like eyeshadow quads I sometimes feel limited and like I want to do more and this right here is the answer to my prayers okay I'm gonna have so much fun with this palette at work <laughs> I'm really excited to like start putting it on people because I really really love it like I said it comes out on the 30th but if you guys want it now it is available on the Charlotte Tilbury website as of like two three days ago I'm going to stop rambling and let me show you guys how I created this eyeshadow look Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial portion of this video. I'm going to use all Sephora collection brushes for this video and the reason is that I know Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are extremely soft and so I feel like these are going to pair really well with them because I don't own any Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow brushes so I feel like these are the way to go for me. The first color I'm going to grab is from the desk look, the color 1. I did not want to do just one of the suggested looks because what's the fun in that? You can follow those directions at home. I'm going to give you new directions over here. So this is the desk look, shade 1, and I am just putting it all across the crease of the eye with this very soft number 10 brush from Sephora collection, windshield wiper motions. And as you can see, this just blended itself. Like, uh, it is such little effort for these Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. They are so buttery and so blendable right away. I'm going to go outer corner and blend in a bit more. Nice wash of color all up on that crease. I'm switching my brush to my number 27 from Sephora collection and I'm using another color from the desk look. This time I'm using number 3 and I'm patting it right here on the outer corner of my eye and blending it inwards. Again, windshield wiper motions but this brush is a little flatter so it won't make it go as high. So I'm placing it on the outer corner and blending it in. Back and forth windshield wiper motions with desk 3. Okay, I just realized I lied to you because this brush right here is not from Sephora Collection. This is my favorite Morphe brush and it is the Morphe M506. I just like it because it has the perfect shade and the right amount of softness. So M506 and I'm going into the date look number three and I'm putting it on the outer corner to darken things up a bit on the outer corner there. So just back and forth, back and forth on that outer V of the eye. And I'm going to just go all like halfway through, right there. And then I'm going to use my Sephora collection number 27 and eliminate any hard edge. So we're going to blur that line away. All right, so now I'm going into the dream number one with my Sephora collection number 15 brush. And I'm just going to sweep that color across the front two-thirds of my eyelid all the way through the center until it meets with the color on the outer corner. And I'm going a little bit above my lid right there to create a nice edge with it. This is a very soft shade. And I gotta say, I like it with a brush for precision, but then I did go over it with my finger to get a bit more of the shiny reflective color in that shade. So I just tapped it with my finger a little bit all over. With the same brush I'm going into day number two and I'm just going to brighten the inner third of my eyelid by putting it on top of dream one. And this right here is what things are looking like on the top of the eyelid so far. As you can see it looks very nice and like romantic and I'm mixing all the different looks because I just, I love mixing color and that's fun. I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup and I'll be right back to finish up this eye. Okay guys, so I am back and besides my face makeup, all I did was add eyeliner to my waterline. I'm going to grab this teeny tiny brush right here. This is an E36 from Morphe and I'm just going to run it through like right in between my lower lashes and what this is going to do is it's going to bring some of that black pigment down a little bit so that it blends nicely with my eyeshadows once I put them down there. See, just smoked it out a little bit. So the first color I'm grabbing for underneath my eye is Date 3. And I think that color is like my freaking favorite. I love it. I've been in a very like smoky 
dark plumish brown type of mood lately and this color is doing it for me so i'm just putting it right underneath my lower lash line from outer corner to tear duct area and blending it here at the end so that it mixes with the top layer and then with that same brush i'm grabbing a little bit of desk one and i'm smoking it out with it back and forth back and forth and then as my last step i'm grabbing sephora collections number 18 brush and the color day one and i'm putting it right here on the inner corner of my eye blending it to the tear duct area underneath and we're going to blend a little bit above our lid at the beginning right here i'm adding a second layer of that there we go all righty i love that so next i'll be putting on some mascara and lashes and i'll be right back to show you guys the final look okay guys and this is what it looks like with lashes on these are the milf lashes by lily lashes which are very nice and full i literally ran out of lash glue and i got the like thickest most like disgusting lash glue that i found on my drawer to put these on um because i didn't have anything else to put them on with and i wanted to wear some lashes for this look so if anything looks weird or like it's falling off or something just excuse me <laughs> for a second i have to get lash glue in my next trip to sephora but regardless of that i don't think anything too funky is going on and this is the final look i am obsessed with it i think it looks so nice and smoky and romantic this is what both eyes look like right here i think one of the best things about this palette is how smooth creamy and blendable the eyeshadows are i really felt like they blended right into each other it didn't take any extra effort to make this look happen nothing was blotchy at any point everything was just like wonderfully just like put on and i really love the way it came out all right so let's get back to the video all right guys i'm back i wanted to tell you what i used for my bronzer and blush and highlighter and it was this palette right here this is the stoned rose look in a palette i am obsessed with this bronzer right here i like it more than the film star bronzer this one's a bit more cool tone a little bit lighter i think this bronzer in here is so freaking beautiful so i'm using mainly the switch blush which is this one right here i'm using a ton of the bronzer and the highlighter and i really loved how this combined with this pillow talk palette right here this i did purchase from her website a couple weeks ago again the reason i didn't buy this one yet and i'm just borrowing a tester right now is because i can't buy it with my discount until it comes out and oh I was like, I had something else to tell them. My lipstick. I found a new favorite lipstick combo. I think I told you guys about it on my previous video, but I have recorded several videos in the past few days and it's all a blur. Um, this is the Iconic Nude Lip Liner, which is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I like it more than Pillow Talk. And the Dance Floor Princess Lipstick. Just combined together a lot of the eyeliner, a little bit of the lipstick. I love it. So that is what I'm wearing on top of my foundation. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. I know a few of you keep asking if you can buy things at Nordstrom through me. And I'm still working on that. If I have a resolution to the issue that I'm having, I will leave you guys how to like contact me if you want to buy through me at Nordstrom in the description box down below. Other than that, if you live in the Atlanta area, you can come to Nordstrom from Phipps Plaza and I'm there um, and I really really appreciate that you guys are thinking of me and like buying things through me so I can get a commission like I really appreciate it but I also hope that you know that what you guys see in my videos and in my reviews is 1000% my opinion and that I'm not just trying to like sell you anything I just love makeup and I love sharing it with you and I hope that you guys just keep that in mind the palette is beautiful the formula like fully truly surprised me it was so much better than i expected i don't know why i didn't expect it to be great but like it was amazing and i love nude shades so obviously i love the color story on the palette let me know what you guys think in the comments section below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to please subscribe before you leave hit the red subscribe button right there so thank you guys so much for watching my video and i hope to see you back in the next one bye